Hello. My name is Simone Braga, for those listening to me for the first time. God bless you, mightily. Here you discover the mystery of the mighty verses from the book of Psalms. In Psalm 32, Psalm 32 is a hymn of repentance, forgiveness. These prayers are to pray when suitable to you, which will remove our daily adversities. Difficulties, hardship, misfortune, and affliction, would you please listen to the prayers as much as you can? Believe me, and God will bless you mightily. In the name of Jesus, I would like you to listen to our content on the channel, All Faith Theory, until the end of any video. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, All Faith Theory. I kindly ask you to do it because it will help our channel, and the YouTube algorithm will understand our content is reasonably suitable for hearing. Please click on the bell, and leave your comments. I would also like you to pass this audio on to your friends, as everyone will have the opportunity to listen to our new content. First and foremost, our mission is to pass the predominant thing, the Lord's words. I would like you to better understand what we mean by all faith theory. All faith theory consists of helping everyone listen to God's words and how beneficial that will be for our day-by-day -day obstacles, adversities, difficulties, hardship, misfortune, and affliction, especially in the volatile world we are leaving right now. Let's have faith in a good job, faith in our college course, faith in our marriage. Believe in a be better country, faith in our day-by-day -day bread. Trust that we will have a better global society, fairer, friendlier, and less selfish. Now I would like you to pay attention to the Lord's words, open your heart, and listening with great faith. Psalm 32 is a hymn of repentance. It was written after David committed a severe sin with Bathsheba and is a record of his confession and forgiveness obtained. The poet integrates repentance, instruction, and blessings to illustrate the purpose of forgiveness. David's experience. This is how he obtained forgiveness for his grave sin. His regret was sincere. He came to hate the sin of which he was guilty. Have mercy on me, O God, with your goodness, with your great compassion, blot out my sins. Wash me from all iniquity and cleanse me from all faults. Because I recognize my sins, and I always have my faults before me. Prayer for forgiveness for our sins. I have sinned against you, only against you, and I have done evil before your eyes. His sentence is therefore fair and his judgment appropriate. Love the sincerity of the heart and let me know the wisdom deep in my soul. Let me hear a word of joy and happiness, and let my bones that you crush tremble. Turn your face away from my sins and cleanse me of all my sins. Create in me, O God, a pure heart, and produce in me an unshakable spirit. Do not want me away from your presence, and do not take away your spirit of holiness. I was hoping you could give me back the joy of your salvation and support me with a generous heart. 
I will teach sinners your ways, and the rebels will come back to you. God, my Savior, deliver me from the shed blood, and my tongue will proclaim your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. It's not a sacrifice you like, and you won't accept it if I offer a burnt offering. A sacrifice that pleases God is the repentant spirit. Thou shalt not despise, Lord, a humble and contrite heart. Forgive me, Lord, for everything I've done wrong today and forever. Psalm 32 of David Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, my strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Selah. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Selah. Therefore let everyone who is godly pray to you while you may be found. Surely when the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding but must be controlled by bit and bridle or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you righteous, sing, all you who are upright in heart. Pray with me, our Father, with great faith. Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom comes, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God will bless your victory mightily. Now repeat after me, Glory to Lords and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you all. Thank you all for listening. In the name of God, please subscribe to the channel. God bless you forever. Goodbye.